us and the really what I would class a leaders meeting. Uh, we decided a few weeks ago or at the beginning of the year we were going to have Wednesday webinars every fortnight because we do also have, I know that some of the teams have Zooms for their team in between. Um, plus we want to have guest speakers like we had Ali and Jeff, which was fabulous. And we want to continue to get guest speakers. And um, so that would be another web webinar, which we've changed to Monday to stop the clashing. So there'd be two good webinars for, you know, for the plugged team in it. But I said there's going to be webinars in between, like maybe inductions. Well, this is a leader's one in between. Um, because um, we'll do the recognition first. No, just, just keep talking because it's an informal, it's leaders I'm talking to, as I say. Um, when last month, as you know, uh, Kate and her team made the Kate mainly, and we told her team, she had a team, that they want to go for Premier. Um, Louise loving her hashtags and what have you. Louise immediately came back, oh, put a hashtag on that project, Premier. And I loved it so much. And the other thing I loved so much was the decision was made and then it happened. And anybody who's been in this business or the last business, I don't want to say Queenie did because it is Vivian Kane. Sometimes I make a bad habit of the error of saying that because they have all been there and also the Queenie's the products. But over the years, there's so many people that as soon as they announce that, as soon as they say it, Jim and Jane, well remember when they said, I'm going to bronze and we're going to go to Monte Carlo, Stuart or told the whole room. And so Jim looked at Jane and said, well, we better do it now. So making that goal and, and saying it out loud and believing that you can achieve it makes a massive difference. And that's why I wanted the group project premier because the group project premier is for people in the business and my amazing team who want to go to premier, who believe they can go to premier, and more important, we also believe so too. Right, for the purpose of the recognition, I'm going to unmute you, because I like to hear people getting a round of applause. So there's the uh, amazing recognition, I'm just going to go through it. I do pray that I have not missed anybody out, uh, because the way it's laid out it is quite difficult um, to get everybody, but I'm, I, this is what held me back because I just did not want to miss any single Rhino team member out. Um, let's go. Congratulations to all the 18 uh, Rhino group stars. And as usual, the first slide, as you know, wants to freeze. It likes to freeze the first one. And then from there, yay, Kevin and Lisa Wright made the goal and got it. <laughs> I just still love it when you make a goal and you get it. And a couple of days before it, they're like, we're 30 quid away. Well done, guys. John and Jane Wren are not on tonight, but well done, John. Excellent. Jonathan Farmer and Megan Menno, who are new <laughs> I'm, I'm learning new people in the business. As the team viewer gets better, ironically, I'm finding people that I hadn't noticed before. So Jonathan Farmer and Megan Menno, I never noticed on the eighth official group, so I do apologise if you're watching this video well done. And Joseph McGinty and Heather Snowdown. Well done. Quite well. I like to be there. I'll be there. Jim Hen from Ireland. He's been talking. Ian and Janet Abrahams, well done, guys. Carolyn Macro, Peter Green, and Kurt and Jason Hansen. Oh, and Amanda and Nigel Oliver. Now, this is Amanda. Let's find them. I can, I can find them. Where are they? Because on, our, on my figures, are the way they are. Are you still here, guys? <coughs> oh, there you are. I found you. On my figures, it's still massive. But yeah, I'm well, married now. Here they are. Sorry? It should be Oliver. I have changed it twice and they keep coming back. Massive. So that obviously that confuses my wee blonde person. 
the Amanda and Nigel are actually Amanda and Nigel over. Also set a goal. By the way, on holiday, I don't know if it's going to be working. So we have everybody, our son, everybody, who's a chief VMK star, because although Kate's going to do a training tonight, very impromptu, brilliant training just quickly put together, I will say that VMK star is the first step. And then all you have to do is find and help other people to get to be the MK stars. However, what everybody's noticing, not only are the sales online starting to really go on a wave of growth, the, the whole business is on a wave of growth. And by the time we get the catalog in March, I reckon we'll be looking at most people doing easily a thousand pounds. And that's wicked news because we can show our new people how to do the same. Next level is our Viva MK Stars 500. In hindsight, it might be a better idea to shout them all out and then we'll cheer for them all at once. That didn't work because they <coughs> you can do a wee woohoo as Jane was doing. I. Alois Tata, Clive and Dorothy Britton, Janet and Leslie Downing, Janet Lyle and Steve Reese. Diane and Bob Goulden, Joanna Lamb, Joseph sorry Joseph Chigiazzi, I can never pronounce his name, Peter and that's it. So well done guys. And what I want to say, have I missed somebody out? Yep. There's another sheet. There's another sheet. All right, okay. That's a half seat. I was just testing you. No, but <laughs> I did that because see when I'm doing it on the sheet that I use, your team ended up there. And there should I've, still be I've, more. I've met, oh, there's more. There's more. Don't you worry. We've got <laughs> our wee Mary Stewart. Well done, Mary. Uh, they all came out once. Newland, Claude McDonald, Louise Rennick, and Trisha Coyle, and Alan and Anne, President Michael Bernie, and Sue Baines. But I want to take time out the people who attend the webinars I'm here tonight. Mary Stewart and uh, Louise is gutted she can't make it, but you know she normally does not miss them. And now we Trisha. Well done guys on <laughs> And what I will say with most if not all I think Sue Baines is in the wrong place. I think she might be two thousand. If she appears later on I put her in the wrong place. I'm she might be 2000. It was a nightmare. Um, but most of these were closer to 1000 than they were 500. That's what I will say. Um, so that's, although it says 500 there, many were closer to 1000. And then we go to the VBMK Network Stars 1000, which I'm hoping we're going to progress to that, you know, very, very quickly over the next few months with everything that's happening in the network. It's just so exciting. DMK Network Stars 1000, Jimmy <coughs> and Wee Jane, Ooh. and Bennett and Yvonne Clark, uh, Frank Devine, and I think that's them all. Well done, everybody. <laughs> and again, I will say that it's between <coughs> 1000 and 2000. It would be good if we could keep that 15 one in there, three different in between ones, because people uh, been really, really close and close to the targets. But um, congratulations now to all the DVNK Network Stars 2000, and that is Abigail Cockley, Andy and Claire Stevenson, David and Samantha Branch. I was right about Sue Baines. I had her in the wrong place. Sue, I'm really sorry if you're watching this, but I know you were Star 2000. Um, and that's that. <laughs> Well done, everybody. Do a tea star 2000. And finally, well, not finally, second last, uh, what we were talking about last week, we were very chuffed about it because we had the figures in. Uh, a massive congratulations to our new weekend, Keep in with for this period, then period one, uh, from the Forbes. <laughs> I did say new 
for as you know, we've been here at the moment, we've been through the Himalayas, we've had the new business, we've not had the new business, we've started to scratch. So I see September as starting to scratch. So I do see new because I do see many of you, all of you, they're, they're all new levels because we started with nothing in September. How quickly have we forgotten that though? Isn't that positive just how quickly we forgot? And that was so traumatic at the time. And this is a team recognition. I've not put a name on it, but my team, our team, me and name, but we achieved Silver Premier. And that is now what's happened within the team. All the recognition I've shown you. So I want everybody to give everybody a round of applause here. Um, and hopefully, looking at that, saying platinum and drug, whatever all these figures are, because everybody will be hitting these amazing levels. <coughs> And what we're going to do next is, um, uh, Kate had, was going to do a training on this, she just had to do it um, a bit um, quicker tonight, when uh, there was just a, a personal situation that got me to <coughs> the Excel documents, <laughs> but to anybody that knows me, knows I hate Excel, it's so horrible, I'm going to eat everybody because Kate's going to do a training. Okay, obviously you'll need to um, unmute yourself and we'll put it back on at the end. But the Project Premier was born just with that, um, you know, but playing about with the hashtag with, and fun with the Louise and the hashtag. But Kate just decided, and although she had decided, but deciding to share it with her team that she was going for Project Premier um, or Premier. And I, as I said at the beginning, I just love this so much because we have got... And I know you'll agree with me here because I know that you see it. We have got a hell of a bunch of leaders in our team, haven't we? I mean, look how many were at the leaders meeting and not everybody who wanted to be there could be there. And it was for practical reasons. They were at work. Louise, working. Uh, Trisha, I think you were working. Tom had to swap days a bit when, when it all changed. He couldn't get there. So we would have had a lot more. So I feel really proud and honoured that we have got so many people that I personally believe can get to Premier. And that's what I'm hoping that the Project Premier is all about. We're going to keep this group fully positive trainings and things that we can do to help each other to get to that goal. And now I'm going to hand you over to Kate because it was her idea in the first place, her training. Uh, she wanted to do a Project Premier group and we decided that's a great idea for the whole group. So I don't want to steal this for her, or from her rather. I'll put on a speaker view and introduce Kate. You need to unmute yourself so they don't see my wee ugly mug anymore and they see you. Oh, I've made oh yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me okay? I'm on the screen. I'm just going to mute myself, and when I mute myself, then I should just. Okay. So, so basically, this is a very, a very short training that um, I put together probably about an hour ago, and I sent it to Lynn on Messenger, and I've absolutely no idea if she's had time to put it on a slide or not. Um, so I've, I've actually just got the original message that I sent to Lynn earlier with, it, with a, bit of, a little bit of training on it. We'll just kind of rattle through it. Um, but basically, um, I said to Lynn last night, um, I really think we should maybe start a, a Project Premier group. And within five minutes, Lynn had started a Project Premier group. And that's why, if you're, if you're on the Project hey, Premier Can you see your that. training is in front of you? I've yep, I see it now. Yep, All right, it now. sorry, it's when you see Thanks for that. No, that's fine. So... Uh, so we, we did it in a bit of a hurry, really, and the training's going to be done in a wee bit of a hurry tonight as well, but we can expand on it. Anything, anything that comes up that you want to ask at the end of it, uh, feel free to ask your questions. Uh, we might need to put some more trainings together for this, but we're perfectly happy to do that. But really, you know, there, there's no time to strike than when the, iron, the iron's hot, really. So that, that's why it's been a very hurriedly put together training tonight. But let's, let's go with it and see how it goes and see what, see what the feedback is from it, okay? So basically, you're on this group, you're on this webinar tonight because presumably you want to go Premier this year, okay? Um, so the best thing to do, first of all, is to put a date on it. Uh, depending on how close you are to Premier at this moment in time, you'll know yourself, but uh, I, I 
a goal is only a dream unless you put a date on it. So definitely, definitely put a date on it. And a really, really good uh, rule of thumb is to um, to set goals that are that are related to events. And after the showcase at the end of this month, uh, the, the next showcase will probably be kind of end of August, beginning of September, depending on when Michael can get the dates. So uh, the Christmas showcase is going to be at least, what, six months away. Perfect timing for people who want to start planning now to go Premier. And there's nothing about no, nothing to stop you going Premier sooner if you want to. Just do it, you know, you know, the, the, the very quickest way you can. Just make a decision and go for it, okay? Is there another slide, Lynn? Keep forgetting I'm on mute. I am pressing it, Kate, but it's decided not to play ball with me. Okay. <laughs> I've also put it on the gallery view because I couldn't see you. Right. Okay, that's fine. Okay, right. There's a couple of different ways to go playing here. Okay, now, number one uh, will make you the, more, the most money, but it's very, very difficult to do. Um, Premier in the month of in the, for period two is going to be four thousand five hundred pounds, and thereafter from period three onwards and permanently it's going to be five thousand pounds to go to Premier. So let's decide now that you're going to go for five thousand pounds of turnover, and that will take you to Premier. Okay. So the first way to do it is to retail five thousand pounds yourself in a four week period. It's very very hard work, but you will earn immediate retail profit of twenty five percent, which is twelve hundred and fifty pounds retail profit plus five hundred pounds of bonus, which is ten percent of your your turnover at Premier. So you will earn seventeen hundred and fifty pounds. It's easier than a full time job, but it is very very hard work. Uh, Tom and I sometimes did five thousand pounds personal retail in Clean Easy. Uh, that was a, a different time, mostly with catalogues. It was hard you know, hard work, we did get wet a lot, we did get cold a lot, we, we you know, we were tired a lot, um, but money, money's great doing it that way, but you won't, earn anyth you won't earn anything if you're not physically there, if you're on holiday, uh, your car breaks down, uh, any particular reason why you couldn't be constantly retailing, you're not going to earn anything at all if you try to be Premier without a team, so we would strongly recommend that you do it by method two, which is to retail £1,000 yourself in a four-week period and sponsor between eight and ten people and teach them to retail at least £500 to £1,000 each in a four-week period. Uh, therefore, they will all be earning a bonus and people who retail for bonus are more likely to stay in the business if they're actually earning money. Okay, so if you can move on to the next one, Lynn. Okay, so let's say, for example, this is just one, one way to do it, one, one example. Okay, let's say you sponsor 10 people into your business who, who will each retail £500 every four weeks, and you're going to lead from the front and work harder than anybody else, and you're going to retail £1,000 in a four-week period. Okay, so if you've got 10 people retailing £500, uh, that's 5000 that they're doing between the 10 of them, you're leading from the front doing another 1000 so your total turnover for that four week period is £6,000, okay? Now for your £1,000 of personal retail, you will of course earn 25% retail profit, which is £250. And you will also on top of that, because you are Premier, you'll earn a 10% bonus, which is another £100 on top of that, so that's 350 okay? But because you have a team that you're training, okay, each of your 10 people will then be retailing £500 for that four week period, they will all earn a 3% bonus of £15. That's on top of their uh, £125 retail profit. So that will give them £140, which they've earned basically in their spare time for not a huge amount of time. Uh, so they will stay in the business, they'll be earning £140 uh, extra a month on top of their, their jobs or whatever, they, whatever else they have. And on top of that, you'll earn the, the residual 7% of their £500, uh, which is £35 per person or another £350 total. That's on top of your own bonus for your own retail. Okay? So your total earnings for your, your Premier uh, is going to be £700 for four weeks' work in your spare time. And if you did that every month for 13, 13 periods of the year, uh, that's 13 times £700, and that's going to be an extra over £9,000 extra that you're going to earn in a year, which is 
which is really a lot more than most people join the business for. It's a fantastic extra income uh, and it might make a real difference to you. It might give you some holidays, pay off your car, pay off your credit cards, uh, pay for Christmas, whatever you want to do. Okay. So, sorry, I assume... interrupt, sorry interrupt, there is a clicking noise in the background. Is everybody oh. on mute? Is it, I, I, can mean... hear, I can hear a click, 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 and I'm what? just trying to just, uh, it was, I don't know if it was anybody else. Just I'm control. not clicking, but I'll try and move the computer a wee bit. I don't know if it's maybe your laptop, I'm thinking it might be your laptop. Because yeah, I do recordings and then I hear a clicking and I'm, I don't know why. I could hear it all the way through and I was really trying to concentrate and I do apologise for it. Sorry, I thought I was sitting still, but maybe not still enough, sorry. Right, thanks Kate, sorry. Right, okay, anyway, right, so I've put together a, a very short activity checklist, uh, which we can expand on as, as we go along, um, if people want more information on it or need to ask questions or whatever, feel free to do so, okay. So, your activity checklist for going Premier. Number one, first of all, this is the most important step, decide what you want to earn from your business and set your goals with a date on them with your sponsor's help. Okay. So lots of people don't, don't know what's possible from, from their starting point, uh, but your sponsor will be the best person uh, to be able to advise you because they'll know what your circumstances are, uh, what your limitations are, if you drive, if you don't, where you live, um, what your other commitments are and everything. So set your goals with your sponsor's help and they will do everything you possibly can to help you achieve your goal. Okay. Uh, next, make sure you have enough catalogues to put out to achieve your catalog retailing goal. You can't teach it if you're not doing it. Um, so as I've suggested earlier, if you want 10 people in your business to be retailing 500, you should do your very, very best to retail 1,000 by you know, catalogues and or online. Just set your own goal for retail and make sure you've got the equipment to do that and the tools that you need to do that. Um, and uh, work out how many catalogues you'll be putting out on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Uh, and you know how much activity you're prepared to do to, to achieve your retail goal. Okay, so make sure you've got all the the catalogues, the order forms, the, the 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 flyers, whatever you need to do that. And first of all, of course, as we always teach, um, give out a few catalogues to your friends and family first. Keep out between five and ten. Work through your list. Make a list of friends and family that you'll give the catalogues to first. Uh, because your first orders generally will come in from people that know you and people that trust you and people that, you know, they know where you're coming from, they know where you are, uh, and they'll rely on you to be trustworthy and reliable, and they'll also want to support your business. So, so make sure catalogues go out to your friends and family before you start going out in the neighbourhood with them. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry about the double numbers here. I had, I had written the list and I had to keep going in and changing the numbers. So sorry about that. It doesn't look that professional, but the, the information's all there anyway. Okay. Uh, so the next step is to set up and build your online selling group. Uh, launch the group uh, with an online party, whether you go live or whether you don't. Um, set, the, you know, set the scene, launch the group, get as much activity and as much interaction and as much excitement going on that group as you possibly can. Your sponsor will help you to do your first online party. Uh, and from there, you can ask members of the group to host an online party for you with a little bit of an incentive or whatever, but that, that's a different training really, but the training is there for that, so we can expand on that a wee bit as well. Um, next for online selling, three to five items a day in between 30 to 60 local selling groups and at least five or 10 on your own group as well and just keep the, keep the momentum going for that. A lot of people miss that step out because they, they think it's very time consuming to post in 30 to 60 local groups, but once you're into the habit of it and you build it up gradually, it really doesn't take an awful long time at all. And again, it's just a discipline. It's just a, an activity that you, you have to do every day if you want the success. Uh, the, the, the online sales and team velocity in, in period one did not come by accident. They came because people were working really, really hard and being consistent every day and doing their activity every day. And it was, it was an absolute pleasure to go online and see, you know, uh, people posting in all the, all the different local groups that they were in and on their own groups as well and getting the sales and interacting with customers and uh, just, just what they did, um, you know, phenomenal sales that people have got just by being consistent. It's not, it's not a one-off, it's not post one, at one item in one group and don't get a sale within five minutes. It's consistent effort every single day. Okay. Okay. So in addition to your local selling groups and your own group and your online party, 
we would recommend that you put five new items a day on Marketplace and that allows you to post into 20 more groups. And every seven days you're allowed to bump those Marketplace posts. So if you put five posts on a day for a week, after a week you'll have 35 posts. But the next day you'll be able to start bumping posts that have been there for a week. So after two weeks, you're going to have 70 posts on there. After three weeks, you're going to have another 35, so 105. And you can renew your posts, I think it's up to five times until you can't renew that post anymore. Then you just take it off and you repost it. So you've got a constant presence there. And every post in Marketplace should always have, not the link to your group, but the name of your group. Uh, I've got a, a text replacement set up and on all my Marketplace posts, it'll say for uh, for a full range of our fabulous products, please join our group, Kate and Tom's Bargain Online Shop. And under that, I've got another text replacement that says, catalogue distributors and online retailers replied, they required, please message me for details. And we get leads every day from that. We get people joining our group every day from that. And again, that's just a consistent, uh, persistent discipline again, okay? So another one that not everybody does, but everybody should be doing, uh, if you're going for Premier, you are going to be sponsoring a team. Uh, so the next step is to make sure that you have a sponsoring group set up. When you're on mute, are you trying to talk to me? Unmute yourself because I can't hear you. Talking because I think I maybe missed that, but it's not on a slide, so just. Keep... All right, okay, right. So I've got, I've got, got a wee note on my phone anyway. I do apologise. So, no, that's fine. Oh, that, this was an important step as well. The next step, the next step was to make sure that you have a sponsoring group set up. Um, now. This is a really, really good way of keeping track of all your leads and making sure that every, every lead that you've generated through Facebook is captured into your sponsoring group when you can then drip feed them in. Okay. So I've had a sponsoring group set up for a couple of years and it, it wasn't my idea. It was a, a guy called David Houston who was in uh, Clean Easy uh, and then Viva as well. And he came up with the idea, why not? You've got a selling group, why not have a sponsoring group? Um, and all of my Facebook leads and all of the leads that I generate offline as well are invited to join my sponsoring group. The sponsoring group has a welcome post on it. It's got uh, Lynn's opportunity video. It's now got the new slide presentation that Michael launched at the Leadership Day. It's got links to the catalogues, the online catalogues. It's got um, a, every week once I've watched Michael's video, the, the live videos that Michael does, I'll share them into the sponsoring group as well. I'll always big up the business. I'll always say, this is our managing director. He comes and speaks to us every week. You know, if, if we've been at a meeting and we've got a new picture taken with him or, or whatever, you know, just success stories as well. Things that, things that are on the HQ group or on the, the Rhino group or whatever. Um, what I would say, if you're putting on that kind of post, you know, you're, you're putting on somebody's catalogue success, somebody's online selling success. If it's been a, a post on another group by another distributor, take the name off. Because first of all, they might not want that splashed everywhere. But secondly, you want them, if they're joining the business, to join your business and not go away looking for, you know, whoever put that on that fantastic retail story. Because it's my sponsoring group. I want to make sure that if they're going to join, they're going to join with me. Okay. So when they come into the sponsoring group, they get tagged on Lynn's opportunity video. I always say something like, watch this short information video first. Message me when you've seen it. We can have a wee chat. Uh, and then we'll put on success stories, you know, interactive posts, little news clippings, you know, that, um, did, did you know that that takes most people three months to pay off Christmas after Christmas, that kind of thing. Uh, just little bits of things that will keep people coming back to the group that are, that are genuinely looking for information. And when the time's right, they're going to join a business, they'll join you. Okay. So sponsoring posts all over social media. Do some sponsoring posts every day as well. Be very, very careful how you do it, though, because uh, th there is a way to do it and a way not to do it. Uh, and a good way to do it is to put your message on a, on a picture rather than actually, you know, join my team or whatever. You know, th there are ways to do it that are safer than other ways to do it. Um, so we've found that out over the years as well. Some, some posts will not be allowed by Facebook and some definitely will. So just, you know, filter through the ones that, that work and don't do the ones that don't work and we can show you a bit more about the do's and don'ts of that as well. And number 10, the very last step of the 10 steps is uh, teach, your, teach your team to commit to the system and duplicate you. So you're going to teach them to get enough catalogues for their own retail goal, how to set their online group up, how to have a party, you do the first party for them, how to start sponsoring, what to say to people. 
um, just generally good housekeeping in the business and how to build a business. And you know, if you if you follow those ten steps um, consistently and persistently, you will not fail to reach Premier. You absolutely won't. It didn't happen by accident. It happened because there was a goal, and because uh, there was a there was a public goal within the group, and the whole group got behind it. And it was a, absolutely a team effort that brought Tom and Kate to Premier. It wasn't just Tom and Kate. It was Tom and Kate's team. Uh, which was absolutely fabulous and so much appreciated and especially all the help and support from Lynn as well, which is just brilliant. So if Lynn can help Tom and Kate to get to Premier, Lynn can help you to get to Premier, and I can help you to get to Premier and that's what we're here for. So thank you very much for the, ga for the garble training and putting up with me tonight. Thanks very much and please ask any questions you like. I'm one you and everybody. Well done Kate, thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was good. Was so short notice and so quickly. Um, because we knew what we wanted to talk about, and I, I feel you've had that prepared, Kate. You've had that. <laughs> I was looking through and I'm saying, no, she never sent me that part, the eight, nine, but it is there. I did. It is actually one message. It is there. But I was, it was, <laughs> it's been a busy day, and it was just been behind schedule for something that I had absolutely no control over. Um, and then it was not meant to resume, it wanted to go into a free one, and um, you know, I'd love to get some wee hiccups. But what would my meetings be without my wonderful wee hiccups? Thanks very much, Kate. That was brilliant, and thanks even more so for doing it at the last minute. What we will do is maybe put these 10, ten steps, you know, onto the um, Premier group for people that want to be Premier. Um, put them onto the Rainy group as well, of course. I'll get everyone, you know, this. Um, everybody will share the same information with everybody, but that was a great training and I really appreciate that. So, who wants to go to Premier? Yeah. Or beyond? Yeah. I'll say beyond. <laughs> and speak to me or your sponsor after the meeting. I'll see you waving. Don't worry. I know they've got their t shirts on. Add mine on on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. I think the t-shirts look wicked. I had mine on Sunday and I ended up no bloody getting to the meeting. By the way, for those of you who don't know, the very same tyre on the very same car had a flat wheel the next day. And it had a nail in it, a big nail stuck in it. So either somebody's sticking nails in it or it's on the wheel. <coughs> This is an impromptu, I know that um, an impromptu sizzle, I can see some of you are shattered before the long bit of days, but please, after the meeting, if you want to go to Premier, um, as I said to Kate, Kate and the team did all the work. All I do is champion you, support you, and you know, share ideas between us as a team. But I don't see any reason why anybody on this webinar cannot go to Premier. If you, and it's oh, your day, your timing, when you want to be Premier, when you want to be Premier, and then work with your sponsor or myself if, it, if you're directing me, um, there's no sponsor in between. Work with, with your, like Kate, works with our team, Jane works with our team, work with your sponsor, Kevin and Lisa come to me, I'm, um, Amanda, Nigel, you know what I'm saying, but. I really feel excited. I really feel that more people, especially in the A team, can get to that Premier level. Thanks very much for everybody who's joined us tonight on a, a webinar that wasn't planned. Um, and um, what we may do is, because it's now four week periods, and we're having webinars every two weeks, what we'll do is we'll skip, this is the webinar, we'll skip next week so that they're every fortnight, so they always land on recognition day. Does everybody agree with that? Yep. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Recognition mm -hmm. day is a good day to have at the wedding. Although it's a week later, if Viva's taken till the Monday, anyway, to get all the qualifications through, so we'll just have it on the Wednesday. Yep. Well done everybody who achieved their goals. Um, doesn't matter what that goals are, you've achieved them and I'm proud of that. And then uh, let's just go on to the next goals that we want to achieve. 
And I'm going to go and get a first supper. It's okay, Jane. I know you're sad, darling. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yo, hurry, go. Listen, I'm going for a first supper. I've not then eat, and I've got a cat and a dog that need food. Contact me through, um, through Facebook or through Messenger, phone me, whatever, and let me know who wants to go to premiere. Even, even if you're in um, Jane or Kate's team, just send me a wee message anyway, because it gets me excited. <laughs> I just remember, remember, to, remember, to, remember, remember to include Jane and Kate too, though. And I've got us on your yin. Aye, no, I mean as well as Jane and Kate. I mean, just send me a message just so I know, because I'm nosy. And I like you feel left out, Lynn. I didn't like being left out, Mary Hen. <laughs> No, I hate being left out. But no, I mean, that obviously. Uh, can, I, can, can I congratulate Mary, who's spent the whole day fighting with her communications yeah. company to get back online as well? <laughs> Sometimes there's different achievements to be, but. <laughs> oh, geez, honestly, the last two days has been hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's not been fun. Well, you were new online and we still knew about it. <laughs> And can also can also congratulate Frank, who I don't think is online with us tonight. In, a, in addition to achieving Star One Thousand uh, this weekend, he's also become a become a grandpa. Oh, it's the baby here! Well done, Frankie. Welcome to the baby, Sam. Oh. Um, uh, Sunday or Monday, I think. You never tell us if it's been. Is it? So have you been so focused that you never I did? It. And I put his, I put his, recogni put his recognition on Team Velocity as well and, and the 18 Rhino group as well. But yeah, I think I've, it, I've um, never seen the baby. I think it was Sunday. I think it was Sunday. I don't know what's happening in my particular Facebook, but I don't know if it's just because I'm so proactive, but there's loads of posts I'm not seeing. Uh -huh. I haven't a scroll. Oh, I'll just check his just check his message actually. Is that fire the girl and tell him congratulations? Yeah, a wee, a wee girl, a wee, a wee girl called Ava Rose Collins. Oh, oh, how sweet. How sweet. You know that I was at Frank Devine's first baby's only his daughter's Christmas. Were you mm -hmm. there, Kate? Uh, yeah. Were you there, Jane? Yeah. Yep. I, I think you were there as well, by the way. You were, you were that, I've, I mean, I've got a picture of Frank Devine's daughter and that's her just had the baby. I don't know if you can, don't know how well you can see this, if you can see it at all. Not very well, just... Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> she was too weeks late, guys. She was overdue, I... Yeah, she was, she was two weeks late, but she was eight, eight and a half pounds. Wow. Well, tell Frank Devine to me, just because he's a granddad, that's no excuse for this the webinar. I know. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I was new on tonight, that makes okay. sense. Yep. Oh, well done, congratulations, let him know. And tell him to share the baby photos. Well do. Uh, <laughs> I wish he was on so I could be granddad. It's always great fun when you're a granddad for the first time. <laughs> Yeah, well done. That. Thanks for doing that, Kate. Please to share that. Right, good night, everybody. Thanks so much. And we'll see you all two weeks on Wednesday. Yep. Good night, guys. Good night. Thanks very much. Good night. Bye. 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 B